subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Hi everyone, we'll see how to generate a certificate uh, as a response for a Google form. I'll create one uh, blank Google form for that. I need a add-on for this. Uh, so I'll click on more and uh, click on add-ons and I'll install the add-on that is uh, certify em. So I already installed it. Uh, I'll show how it looks. Uh, okay. So um, is already installed now if i go back to my form so we can uh, enable this add-on uh, when uh, enabling add-on it will create its uh, own uh, google form uh, now i will change the name of this uh, google form to webinar title because i want a uh, response to feedback for the webinar uh, I want to send a certificate. We can fill the detail of a webinar and the default things are email address and first name designation and I have written some three questions that is like how the overall webinar experience and how the presenters so after uh, how many questions we want to add we can add that many questions now i'll enable the certify and uh, change the passing mark is zero percent because i am not doing any quiz i am doing a feedback uh, for a feedback i will send the certificate so clicking on uh, template uh, so there is many templates uh, we can create our custom template so we have to uh, use this uh, merge tag uh, in that custom template uh, i am i used uh, only that uh, full name so i have created already one uh, certificate template uh, using uh, google slide so i need only this full name so from that form it is going to take only full name uh, so I'll use that. Uh, select file name. The file name is certificate. So I'll select that and save that changes. Email the sample. Uh, so you can check in my email uh, how the sample looks. Understanding. Okay. Yeah, I received. Uh, but the thing is, uh, in this, uh, the sender name is uh, Certify EM. So I want to change that, and uh, the default uh, full name is different. Uh, so click on Advanced. Uh, there, there is a message for uh, after sending the form. What message uh, we want to display? If I want to display thank you, we will receive the printable certificate shortly and the name of the sender this is uh, for email or uh, the, the college uh, name or who is conducting the webinar their name and uh, subject of uh, email that is a uh, webinar certificate and uh, what type of uh, certificate we want to send that whether PDF for image we can select or uh, share uh, email or to drive so drive means it is not going to send the email it is going to save in the uh, drive so immediately after each uh, submission i want to send the certificate so done that now we'll create a link for that click on send I'll copy this link, open the new browser, new tab, and pasting uh, that. I'll uh, fill this form and we'll check uh, how the response looks. Okay. Uh, 
me go back and check in my email i have not received it so I'll refresh it till i am not received so i'll check in the uh, certify em control panel whether it is uh, sent the certificate yes it has sent uh, the certificate certificate id also we can see i have not used the certificate id in my certificate uh, so if you if you want to use the certificate id we can use it yes we have received it uh, yeah okay so this is the certificate automatically sent for the uh, feedback form of the webinar thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel thank you